What's going on everybody? It's your boy Spencer. And yes, normally I do do Yu-Gi-Oh content, but I just spent about five hours of my life today trying to figure this out. And I don't want anyone to have to go through this because Adobe is not gonna help you for the most part. <laughs> I, I know it sounds like I'm bashing their company a lot. And to an extent I will, but I'm gonna try to be fair and ultimately just give you the solution that worked for me. So like I told you guys, I just got a brand new computer for my graduation gift. It's an extremely nice computer. It's like a gaming computer. It is pre-built, but it is, all the specs are very nice. So this, my, my, if you guys don't know my personal life, I'm a radio host and I work for a radio station and I have a bevy of other clients where I edit for them. I do some technical stuff, but ultimately I need this Adobe package to do the next level of work that I want to do and for the YouTube channel as well. I want to be able to, to make highly edited content and also be able to do that for my work too. So like any other person, hopefully I can show this to you and that will be there in a second. But I go here, I buy the account through my school email. I get a very nice price. So thank you to Adobe for that, I guess. Um, and I download it and this is what I get. I get this little message that you'll see. Hopefully you can see that on your screen as well. I'll try to go through a few of them. It, it looks exactly like this where you just can't get any of your stuff. It says loading forever and it says it's taking longer than usual. You should relaunch it. What you So what Adobe will tell you to do is either to uninstall the app and reinstall it. Okay, that didn't work for me. Next, it'll tell you to go to this file called, I think it's OOBE, and I think I can show that to you now. Uh, just to show you, that way you know where it's at, because you may try these solutions first. I don't know. I'm going to tell you the solution that worked for me. But until that, I'm going to work you through what they tell me to do. So you go to File Locator, because the way they tell you to look for it is impossible. Uh, no normal person would be able to find it by just doing that, especially if you're a Windows novice like me, because this is my first Windows computer. What you're going to do in the top right, you're going to look up Users. And this is me. Uh, you're going to, sorry, if I went too fast, it, you're going to not do default, not do public. You're going to do your profile, which is this for me. That's going to be named something else. The next step, you're going to have to go into app data, which is right here. It's towards the top. It's in alphabetical order, I believe. And then you're going to go to local. And then you're going to go to Adobe. See, this? they, they just don't tell you any of this. They just say, hey, find this uh, file called OOBE. So, and then obviously you're gonna go here and what they tell you is to delete all of this. Now, the problem you'll run into here is that a couple of these will like file sync, it will not let you delete. So what you're gonna have to do is go into, right click your uh, Windows button and hit run and there's this program. I'll put a link to that video in the description because I don't wanna take away that guy's thunder. He explains it very well. So be on the lookout for that. If you want to do this, I don't recommend this because it didn't work at all for me. And I'm assuming if anyone has similar issues, it's also going to be the, this is going to be the solution. But anyways, that's what they tell you to do. Delete all this, restart your computer, start it back up, still have the same issue. And I, I got on chat with them. Uh, the first person had no idea what they were doing. So they sent me to another person. And then after I explained that issue to them, they told me they were clocking out of work. Yes, they were clocking out of work and they sent me to the next person. Then that person said, I have no idea. We will email you. And they said, I said, okay, when am I gonna get this email? And they told me, oh, we will email you within 24 to 48 hours. Keep in mind, everybody, this is my job. This is how I make money. This is how I make a living. I don't have two days to fix a solution. So of course, what do I do? I search all the internet forms I can do. Unfortunately, Adobe likes to keep it in house. Like really Reddit wasn't help. Usually I don't like Reddit, but I'll go do internet searches for like troubleshooting and stuff. And Reddit is usually a good resource, but in this case it was not. I looked up this problem and I looked it up. I searched for just this month. And there, this is a very common issue. It's a very big problem and it's buried down below and I wish I could pull it up, but I don't think I have it up now. But anyways, I'll tell you what the solution is and thank goodness this guy exists. Um, so what you have to do actually, you have to download, I don't know why, don't ask me why, this is just what worked for me. Just You can Google this, it's very easy. Just look up download Microsoft Visual CC redistrib redistributable all versions and you will find it. This is probably the top choice. So once you're on this page, you go to Microsoft Visual C++ 2019 redistributable. It'll jump you down here or you can scroll down, doesn't matter. And you'll see download the, you'll see the two downloads for 32 and 64 bit. I downloaded both of them. That's what the internet forum said. And that's what worked for me. And as you guys can see, 
on uh, here, it does now load. It's not a loading issue like your Wi-Fi or anything like that. I don't have the best Wi-Fi, so that's what I was worried about. But finally, after five and a half hours of trying to work through this, this is a solution I found, and it's up and working, and I can finally use Premiere Pro. If I'm sure a lot of people would just find me randomly, so hopefully this works for you guys, and hopefully Adobe can actually put this in their forums as a common troubleshooting issue. I don't know why they wouldn't. I don't know why they dance around the issue and give you these fake solutions. But this is what works for my Windows, new Windows computer. I don't know, if you guys have other problems and it doesn't work for you, I'm sorry, I'm not a technical wizard. That's why I made this video, so hopefully this helps someone else. But if you have any additional issues, I guess you would have to email or call. I wouldn't recommend calling the guy who I called. I could barely hear him, but the chat obviously is quite easier. And I don't know, maybe in their email they'll send me this, but again, I do not have two days. I have editing work to do tonight. And I also have other videos I need to make for this channel. Uh, but other than that, guys, that's going to do it for today. Hope this helped you out and have an absolutely wonderful night.